What's good, y'all? Your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, it's been a few hours since WrestleMania 40 ended. It's still surreal to me and a lot of others that we are now in a new chapter in this ongoing story that WWE has been telling. Now that Cody Rhodes is the new champion. And Roman Reigns, he is no longer the champion. For three years, Roman Reigns has been synonymous with the guy carrying WWE. And finally, that is not the case anymore. And it's still just a surreal feeling to, to know that, you know, Cody actually did it. And we're going to see what his chapter, what chap his next story is going to involve being as the champion going forward. But we talked about that last night. I want to talk about Roman Reigns. This is why I made this video. Because I've been seeing a lot of people on social media with the hashtag, thank you, Roman. And I love it. Because we really saw something special. And I think it's starting to hit people how special the, the title reign was. I think people knew that it was. But now that it's actually over, it hits a little bit different. And I'm not going to lie to you. His title reign will go down as one of the greatest of all time. To be honest with you, in my lifetime, this is probably the greatest title reign. I know people that was born in the 80s, 70s, and beyond, they may have a different viewpoint on it. But people that grew up in this generation, not even just take out the attitude error, take out the ruthless aggression error, the future, the young men and women, the kids that are growing up in this generation, they're going to coin Roman Reigns as one of the greatest, if not the greatest of all time, and had the greatest title reign of all time. And me personally, I'm... Didn't grow up in this particular era, but I can still say comfortably he had the greatest title reign of all time. You could say it was stat padded, whatever the case is, but at the same time, his matches, for the most part, especially those first two years, and even sometime oh, the last year, this last recent year, those matches were must see. <clears throat> And it was all in part of his character change. It was all in part of him finally finding that line between who he is as a person and the character he's portraying. He's more or less himself, but being able to find that line where people can't tell where the character ends and the real person begins. When he came back, and he told Vince, hey, in order for me to come back, this is how it has to be. Because he finally had that leverage. And Vince agreed, which I know Vince is not liked by many people, understandably. But that's probably one of the last great things Vince McMahon did was actually agree to do this. And let Roman Reigns be who he needed to be all this time. And I also think because COVID was a thing, Vince was more willing to let things fly because they didn't have audiences. So he said, all right, cool. Let's see what you do. And it worked out. Something that he should have did a long time ago. It worked out. And ever since then, Roman Reigns has been literally the best thing on WWE TV. If you want to say where the Renaissance era really truly began or the groundwork was placed, when Roman finally turned heel, that was it. When you saw that shot of Roman sitting next to Paul Heyman, it was over. And then they cultivated the bloodline story. And then the bloodline story had different sagas and chapters and arcs around it. The Sami Zayn stuff with the bloodline is still one of the best things I've ever seen on television. WWE television. One of them for sure. What they did with Sami Zayn was fantastic. 
peak bloodline stuff. What they did with Jay and Jimmy before it kind of got muddled, you know, kind of got messy. Jay and Jimmy leaving for a bit. Great stuff. What they did with Jay being one of the first members of the bloodline and how he had to get to that point to finally cave in and acknowledge Roman Reigns was fantastic. Roman Reigns' mannerisms, the way he, he coined the phrase, acknowledge me, everywhere he went, how natural he felt on the microphone, cutting promos. He became cool. He became what everybody wanted him to be for so long. Instead of him being forced to be cool, he became cool because he was more of himself. The body of work that he was putting in, the matches, the quality of matches. I say this all the time during the pandemic era before I was doing like the live stream reactions. He was usually my favorite main event. He was my favorite main event, main, main event match because we we were seeing something different, and it was it, it was beautiful to see, bro. And I love to see everybody showing love and appreciation. Even Cody at the end of WrestleMania in the press conference said, "I I know me and him we don't like each other, but I hope I'm half the champion that he was." He's the greatest champion, one of the greatest champions, and had the greatest title reign of all time. It's truly an end of an era, but it's not the end of all things because Triple H also said there's more in store for Roman Reigns. If y'all thought this was crazy, thought this was good, are oh, we just getting started? And hopefully that leads to a rock and Roman Reigns storyline which oh my god i know that was what they were trying to do this year but i think they needed to wait and cook this up put this in the oven and let this cook and we may see something great roman reigns definitely deserves his love and admiration i'm giving his flowers everyone else is as they should he has held this company on his back. He is the foundation of the Renaissance era. He is because he was carrying WWE and has been carrying WWE and has brought a lot of fans back. He is a draw. They have made him into a megastar. And you got to give him credit for being that foundation. Because we didn't know who was going to be the next John Cena. They wanted it to be Roman, but it wasn't his time. Now is his time. He he has he was this generation's John Cena, Stone Cold, The Rock, whatever. But he's always gonna be Roman. And he did what he needed to do. And he is the foundation of this Renaissance era. And then everything else started to fall into it. The matches, the feuds. Fantastic, bro. Fantastic. And I'm looking forward to seeing what he does going forward. I think we still have some great stories to tell with Roman Reigns. And when it's all said and done, when he finally hangs up the boots, I think a lot more people are going to say Roman Reigns is the greatest of all time out of any era. I think a lot more people are going to say that because he is what Hell, I, I wouldn't even be mad if anyone from my era said it. I wouldn't be mad from any era saying Roman Reigns is the greatest because he's been putting in some of the greatest work. It hasn't been perfect, but damn near he's been killing it. But before I end this video, I actually want to um, give a special shout out to the, the members in the Inner Clutch Discord. I asked them to do this for me since I've been seeing it on social media and I could have easily went to Twitter and just typed in the hashtag, thank you, Roman. But I wanted to go to the homies in the Clutch Squad because we've been talking about this, you know, just, you know, giving our love and appreciation for what we really saw with um, Roman Reigns here. So let me pull this up real quick for you guys. This is on the Discord. I asked, um, can y'all do me a favor? I want y'all to show love and appreciation for Roman, and I'm going to put it in my video today. What was your favorite match or feud or whatever? And we're going to go through some of these. Um, 
This guy said, favorite feud was hit, uh, was him with Seth uh, in the Rumble 2022. Legendary story. They're, they're always going to be intertwined with each other into their careers. And I think one of the best feuds uh, has to be him versus Jay back during the Thunderdome era. The storytelling back then was fantastic. And it was refreshing to see someone new in the title scene. Definitely great. Like I talked about uh, Gaslighting Air, Roman in his first feud with Dre, uh, Dre, uh, Jay was peak cinema. I appreciate that, Tommy. The promo where he said he is WrestleMania, I own this cameraman, etc. Note to self plug, uh, plug, uh, note to note to self to plug, but the song I released called Chief is my way of appreciating his title reign. Okay, okay, okay. That was a cool moment. That little, little promo, he was like, it was a, uh, he wasn't talking in the microphone. He's talking to the camera mic. He's like, bro, I own all of this. I own WrestleMania. I own WWE. I own this cameraman. That shit was, that was, that was, that's Roman in God mode, bro. Him and John Cena wasn't too bad, but uh, I would say him and Drew was good too. Great match at Clash at the Castle. When he uh, did this and proceeded to try to kill his cousin, the acting on it, bro, this that Hell in a Cell match, so good. Royal Rumble 2023, Sammy face turn. Ah, oh, peak cinema. Favorite match, Cody versus Roman, WrestleMania 40. Roman versus Jay, Hell in a Cell. Roman versus Daniel Bryan versus Edge, WrestleMania 37. Favorite few, Roman versus Jay. And the reason why I wanted people to do this, because I want people to list things, moments that really... You know, they can fondly remember of Roman Reigns title reign and how many there are and how many people appreciated it. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is just one of those type of things where you can just go back and, oh, man, that was such a good match. Oh, that was a, such a good feud. That was such a good promo, good segment. Like, I want people to go down memory lane and, and we all talk about and just remember uh roman and jay 2022 was wwe's breaking bad they were cooking with that shit bro uh let's scroll down oh this moment right here when uh, uh jay was like and i'm out too and super kicked roman so good favorite uh promo possibly best uh promotion of the entire run i think he's talking about oh <laughs> uh i can't really see it i think i ended up like the clip ended up being automatically downloaded but i can't really see it right here um Tommy made a really good point here. Let me scroll down so y'all can see it. Just to think how many stars the title reign created. LA Knight, Sami Zayn, Main Event J, Hoodie Solo, in his thumb, Logan Paul to an extent, and Elevated Cody. Facts. Facts, man. Factuals. Oh, also, Tommy with another good um, moment. Also, I know he's in a tough spot right now, but the last man standing match versus Brock really kicked off this new era, too, considering this was Triple H. First PLES head. Nah, that man, that shit was great. That was great. And the uh, stacking both the pins on Daniel Bryan and Edge. Um at that year's WrestleMania. It was it was it was good too, man. But yeah, overall, bro, Roman Reigns, we appreciate you. Thank you so much for what you've done for WWE, for the wrestling business as a whole. And I'm looking forward to seeing what you do going forward. There's going to be plenty of stories to tell, plenty of dope moments that I can't wait to see. And um, we truly got to give him his flowers because he held down WWE for a better part of three years. And it wasn't all perfect, but damn, there were so many good moments. So comment down below. I'm going to ask y'all the same questions that I asked them in the Discord. What is your favorite moment? From the Tribal Chief era of Roman Reigns. What's your favorite promo? What's your favorite match from him? What's your favorite feud from him? Let me know down below. Let's show our love and appreciation for the one and only true tri Tribal Chief out there. But I appreciate all the love and support. Road to... And wait, wait. Before I end this. Yes, he's still the Tribal Chief. Even without the championship. I say that because he's been... He did so much for the company... And brought back so many fans in the love for wrestling and just being the top guy. He doesn't he didn't need the he didn't need the championship no more to be acknowledged as the tribal chief. I think people, and I've seen it on social media, still acknowledging him as their tribal chief forever. There's only been one tribal. When you think of tribal chief in wrestling, you're gonna always think of Roman Reigns, and that's why I say that. 
But I appreciate all love and support. Road to 150K. And I'm still getting the speed of YouTube wrestling champion of the world. Appreciate y'all kicking in with me. See y'all next one. Peace.